Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, let's do a reading about hexes, <clears throat> curses. The question is, um, did someone hex me and who did it? You know, profession or zodiac sign. Okay, so, so let's do it. Let's ask the cards. Did someone really hex you? Is this just uh, all the misfortunes that are happening in your life? Are they just, you know, a part of bad luck and a part of life, past karma or anything that you created, maybe manifested? Or is there some, mm, seriously some sort of enemy who is doing something <clears throat> against you? Um, you know, so... I have four different decks here, number one, two, three, and four. If you'd like to have this reading, please think about your situation, uh, think about your problem, and choose a deck. And take your time, please. Have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one, which is Hermetic Tarot deck. So, did someone hex you? First, let's see actually what's happening. Like maybe we can see with cards. Maybe they can pick up on what's happening in your life. What you're experiencing. Why are you asking this question? Okay. Okay, so we do have bad cards. So to say we have swords. We have king of wands. Um, so these cards can talk about <clears throat> anger. You know, so swords can talk about anger. Maybe you're having a fight with a certain person. Maybe it's over them leaving you, you leaving them. Um, maybe they wouldn't leave. Maybe it's ex-boyfriend. Maybe it's ex-boyfriend who was into magic, you know, who is a witch or something. So we have that sort of situation here. And um, I don't know exactly... But <clears throat> what's happening? But it could be, you know, it can be simply um, arguments with a certain person, anger, hatred from a certain person. Like there is a particular person, fire sign, of course, king of wands. Um, or it can be any other sign that acts like a fire sign. Most likely an extrovert person in corporate field, person who... This kind of comes up as confident, pushy, in control, you know, <clears throat> person who um, likes activity, socializing people, you know, who imagine salesperson, politician, some sort of uh, achiever, um, like a macho person, maybe person who's exercising, who, who looks sometimes can be intimidating or threatening has outbursts of anger and uh, it can be also like a water sign for example but sometimes they express themselves in this way and they come up as the king of wands a person it can be that you're angry with you know a person who might act like gives you a bad feeling like they're angry with you <clears throat> And there is the whole, you should know what this is saying. The cards, of course, literally translating, can talk about some sort of car, travel, accident, some sort of movement here, trying to leave somewhere, go somewhere, trans transport wheels, that sort of thing. And uh, maybe there was an accident, car accident, uh, for example, due to bad weather conditions or something and recently for example in your life or you witnessed something or something like that 
related with fog, related with storm, you know, stuff like that. Now, um, so do you have do you have a hex on you? Do you have a hex on you? Okay, I'm sorry about the noise again. It's very, I know, annoying, but. Uh, let's continue with this reading. So, as you can see, the cards are really, really weird. The High Priestess, so I would say definitely Last Judgment, Queen of Wands. We have even a person here. At this time, we have a queen. Um, you know, we have, we might have some sort of secret activity, occult activity here with the High Priestess. And the Queen of Wands again can point to, I don't know, is it you or is it other person? Is it because you are the Queen of Wands? It's very interesting because we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Maybe it's a fight between two, uh, a couple. Or let's say your husband and you, or your boyfriend and you, or your wife and you, girlfriend and you. It can be anything. And I think there might be something might be something uh, because High Priestess talks about knowledge, it talks about books, it talks about uh, someone experienced in the occult, let's say, um, who might have interest in you and you don't know about it, so it's done secretly from you. So there is something, I think, and I look at the Last Judgment and the first thing that my mind comes is this coffin. Maybe this person used some sort of uh, ritual where they used um, like dead bodies or cemetery something, earth, uh, soil from cemetery, something, dead energy. You know, with the last judgment, we have <clears throat> basically a coffin. Yeah, so sometimes this card can also mean death. And at the same time, it can mean that energy, you know. So with, combined with High Priestess, we might get some sort of activity. Although, from my side, it's just a guess, you know. It's up to you to, to see if you see it. Now, the Queen of Wands. You know, it can point actually the person who did it will ask who did it. Uh, Queen of Wands can simply tell me the energy of that person. Angry, angry person. Um, angry person, like really independent, strong, if it's a female, strong female, uh, does, wouldn't listen to anyone, has her own, her own path in life, um, doesn't care what others think about her, doesn't care if she's mean and that people are hurt, um, she just wants to be strong, this is her thing. And she is very experienced, I think, in if this is her profession, for example, this hexes, if it's, she's a witch professional or um, like in a cult and reader or pagan or whatever. So she might, <clears throat> this might be her books, her education, high priestess, and she might be this high priestess as well. And because of her expertise, she's very into this. She's very um, uh, ambitious in this profession which is uh, you know a witch let's see so who is this person uh, <clears throat> who did it who is this person who did it eight of pentacles the hangman okay so the person now doesn't tell exactly the name and the profession of the person but I feel the person is angry about something that you did to them and you need to follow up what who you angered who you angered this looks to me like you fired someone from a job you said no to someone and it's related either uh, to a job or you refuse to teach someone something or maybe it's a person who left the job with whom you were maybe you said something they heard it maybe um, uh, you promised something you didn't fulfill. Maybe they were expecting something from you. You ignore them. So, Eight of Pentacles talks about... Uh, it can be simply work. 
it can also be life like daily life etc and some sort of continuation some sort of um, activity but then suddenly comes this uh, cancellation of that uh, habit or routine or some sort of like what's been going on for a while maybe a job maybe a, a creative work maybe something something um, maybe you so from your side comes arrogance and ignorance like you cancel that person from your life you, you ignore them you didn't see them who is this person? I feel the person that you underrated, a person whom you said no to, to something. What happened between you and that person? King of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Eight of Wands. Well, literally speaking, here just seems to be love, love relationship. Like, you love the person, they were your lover, it's been happening, it's been happening. Then what happened? The Empress, Ace of Wands. And maybe that's their wife. <clears throat> Got to know about it or something. And boom, she did something. Or there's a anger of a woman about a love. So there was a love relationship between you and a man. But then shows up the empress who is mad. And maybe that's her who did it. So she's through them uh, maybe did it. Maybe relationship was happening with this person whom you said and then you discontinued relationship. Um, but it was too late because someone like their wife knew about it. If there's an affair, it's a good reason to hack someone if the person is very in angry and possessive and protective, whatever, about their person. It can also be someone's mother. It can be that person's mother or something. Because the Empress seems to be coming from the house of that person. So, so how can you, what can you do? How, what can you do to uh, Princess of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Princess of Swords? That's interesting, like don't talk to them or something. Well, I'm not uh, really, I don't, I don't know how to take them off. Um, I think if you, so first of all, there's something is about absolute discontinuation of communication with that person like uh, remove them from your life maybe um, remove some sort of uh, check your house if there are any things that you think might be thrown in by them you know uh, ignore and block all contacts that you think coming from them like on your Facebook or emails or something that are suspicious letters you have to somehow block yourself from any suspicious activities people um, calls things like that so some sort of ruin some sort of discontinuation of things and I cannot advise any further uh, what to do how to take them take the charge in your own hands you know uh, don't be afraid of this hex or curse or whatever. No one can harm you. Uh, believe in it. Um, try to do cleansing of yourself, your house, put protection spray, things like that. If there is your willpower that no one can hurt me, you know, no one can enter my space, no one can do anything to you. If you uh, express your willpower, and there is more to it, but I don't really, uh, never dealt with it, so to say. I don't work with it. I don't take them all away. Now, let's have a look at our deck number two. Do you have a hex on you? Who did it? Did someone hex you and who did it? Did someone hex you uh, 
Okay, here we have again a um, very uh, conflicting situation with someone, anger, it can be illnesses, um, like, like you're facing with bad health, uh, you're experiencing bad health, there are illnesses, pain, depression, fear, uh, you think you're gonna die at any time, you know there is this horrible nightmares and uh, it can be debilitating pain in these cards you know you might be 30 40 you might feel like 80 years old 60 or 75 or whatever you might be 15 or 20 but you might feel like an old woman who has no life left uh, in front of her so these cards can indicate a really bad uh, like negative thoughts in your head you cannot get out of that negative circle and there might be also these things might be accompanied by pain physical pain emotional mental confusion and this is with page of swords it kind of shows that all what is happening is a lie of this illness it's a very tricky card like super trickster page of swords uh, so yeah definitely there's some negativity you know so uh, what's really happening king of pentacles ten of swords two of rods maybe you're experiencing a loss of a loved one uh, the person um maybe a partner or a husband someone uh, with whom you were related not only physically like emotionally but maybe financially as well and uh, something happened with them loss they, you lost them they left or, or they there's some financial issues I don't know Maybe some sort of dilemmas about new projects, new life, how to start, how not to start. Uh, looks like maybe career is the most important thing in your world right now. But also, the f like it's kind of successful, you know, looking at this is kind of successful, but also it's kind of mixed uh, because we have a big loss. But also we have like you lost a man, but you're gain, uh, gaining money. You got money, a lot of money, like um, thousands. You know, not like one time pay, but it's real wealth. <clears throat> and uh, who? Um, so this doesn't seem like very. Um, this um, I cannot see yet key. someone hexed you but it looks like there is something happening in life that is very difficult so let's ask did someone uh, hex you did someone hex you oh, wow look we have bad cards like tower which is that frog which is like a sign of a witch poisonous it's a poisonous animal and we have this hermit which is a very experienced wise person who has secrets and a book under his arm again I think there's someone very very experienced and this person might come from family ten of pentacles it can be an older person <clears throat> maybe a grandma maybe a grandpa um, I don't know if it's a hex or protection or, or something but maybe you have a family member who's uh, into this, into doing hexes, you know, maybe it's a family tradition, who knows. So, maybe some old person, maybe a person, um, there is a person in the house, old person, alone. Um, maybe <clears throat> they're kind of isolated. Uh, living in your house not moving from it <clears throat> sorry and I don't know who that might be if you know anyone in your family 
who is working with these things who is a witch who is uh, doing that maybe they did something i don't know on purpose he um, they did a mistake or maybe <clears throat> sometimes people try to do one ritual if they not experience something else comes out and you know it might cause some sort of maybe a karma to them like if your grandpa did it who is dead now or grandma who's dead now if they did someone a curse or who and that curse um killed someone their karma maybe might come back to their children their all family so maybe you're just experiencing a part of what they did but we cannot say that so we only know from these cards that there is a person in the family in the house who might have abilities or knowledge to do hexes. But apart from that, we don't know anything. So, who is this person? Queen of Rods, Knight of Cauldrons, the Fool. We have many people here. Uh, maybe this person had a connection uh, with all, all of the family knows this person, like your mom, your brother, your children. You know, <clears throat> this person has a connection with the whole family. And uh, um, which family member is it? Is it your grandparents? Look, a mother card came as a female. We have a female here. Female must be artistic, working with, like drawing something, working with some sort of arts and crafts maybe. I think she was intelligent. Uh, she had artistic abilities. Um, you know, artistic, maybe she had intuitive abilities. Maybe she had interest in intuitive occult stuff and you know we have this three of pentacles literally can show someone drawing something maybe she made astrological charts maybe she um, uh, worked with i don't know cards you know things like that so it can be that sort of thing you know or a family member who always worked with papers like accountant um some sort of engineer Someone who wrote something all the time. You could see them on the table, by the table, sitting, writing something all the time. Maybe it's that person. Female is coming because of these cards. They're so feminine. So who knows? Why? Why this happened? Why did? Why would she do that? Why? The world. So feel some sort of romantic issues here. Romantic, sexual, intimate. Maybe there was some sort of um, a stro conflict in, in, the, in the house. Maybe this involves ex-wife, ex-ex-wife, you know, stepmother, stepfather. Uh, someone didn't want uh, someone to love someone. Someone was jealous of someone's romance. And I think this is romance based. So, how did they do that? Uh, star, nine of rods, and two of swords. So, it seems to be uh, like they did it with. I think. Could have been um, mentally something, just mentally, like they blocked something, they destroyed something, they attacked, let's say psychic attack or something. What kind of ritual was there? Like I know all of them, but I don't, but let's have a look. What kind of ritual was there? Well, most likely some sort of uh, ritual that broke a relationship between people that would cause fights among people. 
and most likely it involved some sort of item physical like a doll um like a sacrifice maybe and like a physical some sort of item material you know like they use dolls and they might use things so whatever that is i think it's well proven and that ritual well, justice is like very well accepted easy to do and and it's just very simple or something so yeah this is this is what it is i cannot tell anymore how can you deal with this what can you do okay if you work with these things if you know how to protect yourself how to defend yourself you have to be very uh, strong and brave and don't let anything scare you don't let anything um, make you weak um, decide that you can do it and fight with it and no one can do anything to you get angry and get mad see in your mind that um, you know I'm in control of my uh, health and I'm in control of everything and whatever is done it doesn't work on me and I feel that you have experience with this and you have to maybe put some protection against you it's important to confront people don't let people sit on your head it's important to be brave and kind of that attitude like you know no one can mess with me um, so this is the reading uh, number two of course maybe if you feel comfortable you can go to some other people who can help you with these hexes who do that who you know maybe but I personally cannot help you here just doing the card stuff let's have a look at our uh, reading number three did someone hex you? So first let's ask what's really happening? Why do you think that someone hexed you? We have a, a conflict again. Anger, conflict or feeling bullied by an arrogant person. A person uh, you might know from work, for example. You might feel that person is competing with you. You might feel that person is interested in rewards and power and, you know, recognition, these things. And because of that recognition, they would do anything for you. I think this is a sort of person who <clears throat> wants to win so much, who wants victory so much that they would hex you, they would do anything to you, you know, in order to win. And they might use various you know, politics stuff and mm, sort of like in a football match, you know, the player who pushes another player uh, and cheats in order to win the game or get the ball from them or something like that. So something like that, it can be not exactly, as I said, it can be just similar, but we have that sort of a particular person with whom you're having problem most likely it's a power struggle um image struggle some sort of you know who's better who is more confident who is who is controlling who maybe there is a powerful person who you feel is manipulating you and you feel the need to stay strong in the eyes of this person um you don't want their power over you and their power is very focused. It's very intrusive in, in your space. So there might be different things as well. Maybe you found um, something also in your house. Maybe you found a ring, for example, in your garden. Maybe you found some round 
like a magical item somewhere around your house or workplace and you're thinking is this a magic is this someone trying to hex me so let's see is there someone trying to hex you well uh, here I don't see it from these three cards we have a relationship which is good we have a working relationship but it can be mixed with some sort of loving partnership or loving friendship so it's like uh, kind of harmonious like love can be but also financial we have we are having also a gift like uh, it can be awkward because you know when people give and take people give gifts and then expect something back or they give gifts that later bring you bad luck for example someone gifts you uh, like uh, some obsidian jewelry with black stones and like actually happened to my mom so someone gave a black stone like obsidian stone i think uh, jewelry bracelet it was bracelet and necklace and horrible things started happening to her she said she dreamt snakes every night and she had a, fear, a sensation that someone is strangling that the necklace is strangling her and she's, she, she dreamt that the necklace turned into a snake and also tried to strangle and it was repetitive like every night and things started happening to her health went bad she started having um, like palpitations in the heart and things like that and she was given that um, jewelry by her boyfriend who who did black magic who actually was into that and so so and when she removed those things uh, then she understood basically that this was the jewelry that caused it and then she removed it and things got better so you might think why would a partner give you something like that why would a partner tried to make you weak but apparently uh, maybe in order to manipulate control um, because she was not a very controllable person she was super um, free person you know like <clears throat> queen of swords I would say queen of wands and queen of swords type of thing so uh, and yeah so it reminded me of that uh, story how it's mixed you know gifts uh, love relationship and also some sort of evil intentions because with the six of pentacles we have a rich person giving money to the poor person so sometimes there is this balance in you know that relationship like favors who's doing favor who's taking the one who's taking suffers you know but at the same time, it's a new, some sort of gift or life or opportunity. So it can be innocent, but it can be also simply, it can be that hex through a jewelry or something. And it can be simply an awkward financial situation that you're having with that person or maybe a love relationship at work, which is always awkward. Uh, so... Did someone do it? Why? So let's see why. I don't know if they did it or not in this case. But let's ask why. If you found a ring somewhere, which you shouldn't have found, this also can be a ring, this also can be a ring, this also can be a ring, and this also can be a ring. Uh, if you found something like that, then it might be a yes. So let's ask why. Why did uh, this happen? Well, here we don't have anything negative, so to say. We just have a person loving you, maybe secretly, and wanting to marry you, or uh, just loving for a very long time. And uh, some sort of maybe it's... Um, it's some sort of like a secret uh, clue 
that's coming from their side. Um, I don't know. So we have that sort of feeling here. Like maybe they have a crush on you. And that... Maybe they want to propose you or something. Of course we have the High Priestess, which can be a secret female from trying to protect their partner, their husband or something. So something we have, again, love. Love. Um... Who is this person? Is this a hex? Is this a curse? What is this? Well, it's not. You know, I don't feel it is. I feel it's uh, honest, whatever that is. It's work. It's relationships and it's interaction. And it might be complicated and feel weird. Why does it feel weird? Again, connection among two people or maybe thinking about that person and working with that person um, some sort of mental can be some sort of manifestation or you can feel something that that person's thinking about you or something so there might be telepathic connection some sort of like your mates in this life path or something you are brought in the same uh, in the same place with each other nine of pentacles maybe that job or place or something maybe you are not together and there's lots of inside telepathic some sort of communication happening so what does this person want from you Well, they, I don't feel like they want, it seems like separation, kind of, like they want separation, or maybe they want uh, to, to stop thinking about you, they want to kind of, um, they cannot even complain because it's like on a mental level, uh, like it's hidden, it's not uh, shown, so how can they complain about anything, but they want to be noticed. They somehow want to be noticed, and I feel that they're very upset, psychically upset, traumatized by some sort of dream that didn't come true, which uh, between you two, maybe they thought you're soulmates and this doesn't happen, and they're just disappointed, and over this, some sort of illusionary inner telepathic mental connection. So what can you do about this? How can you go about the situation? How can you make it come down? So I think cling to your family. Cling to your, what you have, the happiness that you have, the stability that you have. And don't allow any other mm, nonsense, so to say, any other uh, thought come into this place. You have to block your thoughts. Uh, I think focus on pleasant things where you feel stability, where you feel safe, where you feel happy. And like you have a family, for example. I feel this is like you have a family or work, a place and a situation that makes you feel safe. So I think uh, stay in that situation. Don't allow your thoughts wander here and there. Try to be into this as much as possible because that other person might be from another family. They want to marry you, but they you already married or something. You already taken. And they um you know, they they they, they it's their problem. Now what how will it end? So it it will always stay there, that energy of that person. There, It will never end, I feel like. It will always stay like a memory or they will be around somewhere. But it will be rather unpleasant <laughs> due to various problems. Uh, you might even talk to that person. 
later, you know, what will their activity be in the future? I think they will be kind of after you. They will never be able to get get away from you, you know, psychically. Maybe there's some sort of tie going on, and they'll be angry, and maybe they don't want that tie, but it's gonna be there. How to break it? Nine of Wands, Page of Wands. How to break it? Well, main thing is distance. Keep away from that person physically. Keep away from them. Don't talk to them. Uh, when you see them, be rude. Don't um, try to be polite. Don't try to be understanding, empathic, all that. Try to uh, be rude even if you don't feel like being rude. And you can see the cards are saying don't be around them. As, as if it's possible, be away from them. Because if it's a work situation, stop working with that person. Let's move on to our deck number four, which is Robin Wood Tarot. And let's ask, did someone hex you? And who did it? Well, we have again, kind of fighting, arguments, some sort of anxiety, like uh, you want to defend yourself from someone, someone left, something like that. Um, well, this might be many things. Maybe you found something somewhere on your path, uh, something scary. Um, like a burial or some sort of sacrifice or dead animal so let's see what's happening in your situation right now what's happening in your life why do you think someone hexed you so we don't have anything bad here. We have a new relationship, proposal, marriage. Um, we have a love relationship, very good cards, lots of happiness, some sort of friends. Maybe you're asking about a friend who you suspect. Um, but from these cards, I don't really see anything bad. Did someone hex you? Oh, again... Uh, there might be some sort of miscommunication or a relationship that didn't go right or maybe someone you love left you or you left someone and you're afraid that they might hex you. Maybe it's a you know, married couple fighting over their child. You know, things like that can be here. So there is a man which who can be quite maybe suspicious from your perspective who with whom you maybe separated or with whom the relationship is sometimes good sometimes bad not a very happy love affair but it seems like a par partner you know so let's see why did if they hex you why did they so i don't get any hex here did they do anything magical against you. No. <laughs> it's just love. You know, they're crazy in love. They're suffering because they're going to be with you. There's just such wish, you know, from their side. Like, they want you. They need you. They are dying because they cannot see you. It can be, I don't know, it looks romantical, romantic relationship, but it can be... Uh, any other relationship, I don't know. But here it's just that they want you. It can be sexual, it can be... And whatever they did, it can be a love spell. At, it, at most, you know. Some sort of love spell. Uh, because they want to be with you. Maybe it's their attention. It's just they don't know how to act. 
around you, they act silly, maybe they do stupid things because of their emotions. You can feel these emotions, they're just so like emotional and at the same time they cannot have you um, too much of these emotions. So why are they so in love with you? Why are they so in love with you? Hermit, Wheel of Fortune. So, first of all, you might have a past with this person. Maybe you were lovers in the past. Maybe there was something between you in, in the past. It can be that this person is ill, also uh, with liver problems. And um, they're afraid that they might die soon. And they're clinging into this relationship as the last thing that can save them from this panic and fear and things like that. Of course, it can be that they think you are, like, um, ill, you know, and they are, want to save you and they want to be nice to you, they want to give everything to you because, you know, it shows, like, maybe you're serious in some ways. Maybe you're suffering from something. Um, so, yeah, so it might be these things, some sort of, like, very deep... Uh, mission behind this love uh, some life and death situation I would say even very similar to um, um, battle at war so so I don't think there is a hex it's just some sort of like emotional attachment and it you feel it it's noticeable you feel it the person acts strange, you might even have dreams, you might find things somewhere, they might act rational, and it's all because of some weird, um, desperate, uh, I don't know, thinking. Or maybe normal, I don't know. So what is the advice for you in regarding this person? Well, it does show love that uh, you uh, you think about this person a lot, imagine this illusion, wishful thinking. It might be uh, unrealistic because it might be an affair, three of cups. Um, you, if it makes you feel better, you can think about this person if it makes you happy. But can something happen between you two... Look, it can, if you are both free, then yes, but if you are not, then no. Uh, at best, you can be colleagues, and if you work in the same place, like big institution. I'm getting even some sort of uh, university, maybe, or a big company, where there are lots and lots of people, some sort of research is happening. It can be that, or it can be just uh, work, basically. At best, it can be love triangle, but because there's too many people, too many couples, families, and commitment from before. So let's. Uh, <clears throat> what is advice for that person? Because they also like seem to be suffering. That person has to really. They seem to be. Um, they should be nicer because right now they seem to be angry. Like they are angry about something that you did or didn't do. Maybe you don't respond to them. Maybe they don't understand you. Maybe there is a doubt when it comes to you. They should be nicer to you though. If they really love you, they should show it. Um, they should act like that. Not, not. Um, they should be careful. So to say, that sort of situation. If you want to stop, uh, if you want to stop this bond, how to do it? Just break up with them energetically. Uh, break up with them in your mind. Uh, again, show your willpower and demand and basically state with force 
that I want to break up with this person. I don't need this relationship, which is some sort of a not clear relationship. So, and it has to be uh, coming from your side and you will break up with them. And once you ask, once you show what you want, once you state what you want, you know, it happens. Slowly, slowly, you will notice that you don't like them anymore. So this is the reading number four. Thank you for... So no hex here, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for asking this question. A different question. It was interesting for me also to look at this. And I hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful day. Bye-bye.